everyone welcomes to master to teach step by step guide in this video you will learn what is aws code pipeline how to create a pipeline how to use pipeline and auto update the website hosted in s3 bucket from github i will try my best to explain step by step if you have on subscribe to our channel please click on the subscribe button and subscribe to our youtube channel what is code pipeline AWS Code Pipeline is a fully managed continuous delivery service that helps you automate your release pipelines for fast and reliable application and infrastructure update. Code Pipeline automates the build, test and deploy phases of your release process every time there is code change based on the release model you define. This enables you to rapidly and reliably deliver features and updates. You can easily integrate AWS Code Pipelines with third-party services such as GitHub or with your custom plugins. In the previous video, we learned how to host a static website in S3 Bucket. We host the static site lokondhali.com in the S3 Bucket, which is still live. The source of the site is on my desktop. Now, let me show static site files that we have uploaded in S3 bucket in the cloud. Login to the AWS. I have AWS Educate account. Open the AWS console page. Navigate to S3 and open it. In the bucket, you can see two buckets which we have created in the last tutorial session. All the files of the site are uploaded in the first one bucket. Here are all the static file lists. Now, let's move to learn code pipeline. Navigate to AWS console page. Search code pipeline. To use the pipeline, we need to create it. So click on create pipeline button. Enter the pipeline name. New service role, OK. Role name will auto generate it. Now click next. Now we need to define the source here. You can see different sources. We are going to use GitHub for now. Select GitHub. Now we need to connect to GitHub to grant AWS Code Pipeline access to your GitHub repository. Click Connect GitHub. I am already logged in into my GitHub account here. All repository are auto loaded here. Select the repository. Similarly, select the branch. Okay. Click Next. Build optional. For now, skip it. Skip. Another step is to add deploy stage. In deploy provider, choose Amazon S3. In region, same as we created the bucket. Choose the bucket. In our case, it's first one where our site is running. Check the extract files before deploy. Click next. Here you can all review the details. Click Create Pipeline. Great, successfully created pipeline. Now let's test it. I have already added all the files and folder in the GitHub. Let's confirm if anything changes in the code. Open terminal. Navigate to the source folder. I have it on my desktop. Okay, here are all the files and folder. Let's check the status of the file. Git status. Okay, nothing updated. Now let's change this text master to teach step by step guide to welcomes to master to teach. 
opening index.html files in subline text. Changing the text to welcomes to master to teach. Now let's push into git. Git status changes in the index file. Git add index.html. Git commit. Changing to welcomes. git push origin master now let's confirm the changes in the git refresh the page here are the changes okay now let's check on the site. This text must auto changes cause we have made pipelines to our S3 bucket with GitHub. Here it changes. Great, pipeline works successfully. Let's try another one, changing text again. From the terminal, let's add commit and push the changes to git. Now let's see the auto changes in the site. Refresh. 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 Here it comes. The site is auto updated from the GitHub. In this way, we can use the code pipeline feature of AWS to auto update the files and folder in the cloud. I hope you learned from this video tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, please make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. Also, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching. Check us out for more in IT tutorial and guide on website master2teach.com. And we will see you again soon. Bye.